Oh, return to shopping is good for most people. Yeah, let's just end it on that one. I think I spoke about this before, right? But I honestly think, like, as much as 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 great as it's been to have this pu- public dialogue with people um, about all things concerning race, police brutality, inequality in the workplace, and all that nice stuff, right? I think it's going to be pretty good to see things sort of return to some semblance of normality people going out to bars people going to meeting their friends extending their bubble of communication or contact um people going out to shops and buying shit having a bit of retail therapy you know to ease their woes people need that i think spending that so much time on your phone spending so much time on the internet spending so much time on social media in general so much time indoors and then having to be inundated with images of people being cracked over head with batons and thrown on the floor and you know bleeding from their earlobes and sprayed with pepper spray and all that sort of nonsense it just does something to their brain there's only so much um there's only so much misery misery point one person can handle in one setting right you need to kind of diversify your um um diversify your entertainment your sources of entertainment in some way shape or form you can't be just subjected to that all day every day it's not healthy so i think this um reintroduction of shops and the reopening of shops is probably a good thing in general going forward and i guess in by the cues that we see in this bbc news article everyone else agrees so this is from the bbc it says cues and social distancing as shops reopen um, as lockdown measures are relaxed across England, Monday high street shops have opened with safety measures in place. And this is a queue outside Nike Town of all these young lads queuing to go buy, I don't know, an assortment of um, Nike goods, some rentable scooters out here in the front. Um, yeah, so all these kids that would have been spending their time, you know, maybe looting or ransacking the streets or buying items or, you know, just generally distracting themselves, which is a good thing. And then you've got the same thing with all the mums and girls shopping for their essentials in Primark. Primark done a really cool thing where they've kind of essentially closed all the change rooms. So no changing rooms, loads of points of places where you can get some hand sanitizer and all that good stuff. Um, and then, of course, encourage people to wear face masks when they're indoors. Nice amount of social distancing there. A woman came with a full hazmat suit and just hiding her face for some reason. I don't know why, but hey, bless her. Um, this is Gosmus um, jewelry store. I think this might be one of the best and worst times to work in retail. The best because you've got got many people coming into the store, so there's not you know they're not gonna fuck up your your stock. They're not gonna fuck up your what do we call it your standards, right? Um, everything's gonna be nice. You can get a chance to kind of replen as the day goes on. But it also might be the worst because you might encounter some of the most entitled um, dickheads that ever existed that will come out during you know the the easing of the lockdown shopping. It shouldn't be like that. But judging by all the videos of the Karens we see online, I don't know why it, it kind of brings out the worst in people when we're in the worst situation in it for some reason. I'm not too sure, but yeah. Um, lovely lady here with a, with a visor that I'm going to be wearing this weekend or the weekend I decide to go out I'd love to see that there Tough Tarts in Brighton as well doing the same doing the damn thing so I guess for business owners it must be really nice experience to be able to go back again and reopen your store right your livelihood that you essentially be able to put food in a plate for your family a girl here sticking her tongue out being a mess more pictures of people queuing shopping and again I would have thought if you'd have told me during the co- during the lockdown people would be going out queuing to go to school at Primark, I would have been like, those guys are dumb nuts, you know, losers, idiots. But now I've completely changed my mind. I think people need a bit of respite from the craziness of the world that's going on at the moment, right? Global pandemic, global race wars. The last thing we need is conscious that again, we need to go out and just kind of, you know, touch and feel people again. Some people need it. I don't necessarily, but I think some people do need it. Uh, they need that respite. And again, another ominous picture stay take care and stay safe and this woman's really suspicious looking at the camera <laughs> water stones it's funny though right look at the difference between primark at the top or over, over here right has my look at a queue and look at the water stones queue there's hardly anyone there there's like one two three like let's say they're a family one two three four four people in water stones queue cute in it <laughs> um what is this one what is that Z- people go to the zoo I guess if you've got kids at home in it you need some respite as well and then another image of another market so yeah good to see everyone back out again enjoying 
the English sun and the shops.